Look, I really don't want to talk about it. I didn't want to be here. I don't even know where to start. Hi there, everyone. Trentia here. Welcome back to Persona 3 FES. Uh, let's just go. I don't. I, I, I'm not even going to talk about. It. That's right. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave. I'm going home. Yeah. Oh boy. This is what I get for deciding to watch Vinny's Ocarina of Time, and just uh, want to do something. So I'm doing that. Let's go to the 20th. Fun stuff today. Fun stuff today. I tell you what. Ah. Okay, class. I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Just because you're not taking a literature class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lit. Hey, are you listening to me? What's wrong, Fuka? You look kind of down. Huh? Talk to me. Tell me what's bothering you. It's about Aragaki Senpai. Oh, pretty shocking, huh? Never seen him at school, but I've seen him around town. I wonder if he really did get caught up in some kind of crime. Some things you can never get back. I know that from all the things that have happened with my parents. I've sort of been avoiding the question. But is it okay for me to go on like this? Parents, huh? I can relate to that. But you'll be okay, right? Natsuki, what are you waiting for? Come on up. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Don't you want to give your classmates a proper goodbye? Huh? What's going on? Uh, hello everyone. I know it hasn't been that long, but I feel like I've made some good friends. I'll remember each and every one of you, even after I transfer. Thank you. How's that? Transfer? What? You're a weird one, you know? The biggest bitch in the school is leaving, and you feel sorry for her. You're transferring? And you didn't say anything? It's not like telling you would have changed anything. Why make us both depressed? Anyway, my dad's pretty sick. And they say it'll take some time for him to recover. We don't really have that much money, so we can't afford to stay here. You know, I still think you're crazy for being friends with someone like me. But, like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. I hate living at home. That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. Matsuki-chan. But, Fuka, your house is nearby and your parents are pretty normal. So why'd you move? Huh? Well, um... If you don't want to tell me, that's okay. But if it's something that you and your folks can work out, then do it while you have the chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. What am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. You know, Fuka, I used to think that every day was just the same. And I'm only saying this because it's you. But you don't get any second chances in life. If you accept the way things are, then they'll never change. This is the last time I'll see this view. Huh. I won't be in school next week, because I'll be packing, so... Guess this is goodbye. No! <laughs> it's okay, everything will be alright. Come on, don't give me that look! What? Hey, 
I'm not helpless, you know. I've changed a lot since I met you. I'm gonna try and figure out what I really want now. So, I hope you do the same. What I really want... I used to try and please everyone. I was afraid of not being liked, so I did my best to fit in. But I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> that is so like you, Fuka. Well, I say, if they don't accept you for who you are, then screw them. But I like you, even if you don't like yourself. Natsuki-chan. Well, better get going. Suki-chan! Even if we're apart, we'll still be connected. We can always talk, right? Thanks for everything. Natsuki-chan. Even if we're apart, we'll still be connected. It all makes sense now. I've always been so worried about how others are feeling. That's why my power allows me to stay connected with them. I guess there is something I want after all. It makes me happy to see everyone else happy too. So, I want us all to remain friends. The power to connect people even when they're apart. My persona has given me this amazing gift. The resolution in Fuka's heart has awakened a new persona. So yeah, we're going from having no eyes over here to, uh, having way too many. Way too many eyes. Lucia has given rise to Juno. There you are. Why? Did something happen? It is surprising to find you on the rooftop. Ah, we were just wondering what you were up to. Everything's okay now. I've made up my mind. I'll do as much as I can with my power. For my sake, as well as the sake of others. Okay... <laughs> Sorry, I guess that was sort of random, wasn't it? Uh, are you sure you're all right? <laughs> Look, Fuku's just having a moment, guys. All right, you missed it. Now, I never mentioned this during the events of the October Full Moon. I, and I, I realized it in editing, and I was like, wait, what the fuck am I doing? So, I mean, I've talked before about how much I love the little, like, cuts of everyone else's ongoings, you know, like seeing these scenes of like Akihiko, you know, at the, you know, the thing for Shinji or, you know, right there with Fuka. The one thing I didn't mention is I love how this game handles uh, persona evolution. I mean, given the only one we've, only teammate we've maxed out is Fuka, but you know, I didn't do anything, but it's just like, it's stuff that happens to them during the events of this game that caused their persona to evolve. And that's really good. And that's also the reason why that in every other uh, outing that the P3 gang is in, they're the only ones who have their evolved personas. Uh, everyone else is just their basic persona, so get fucked, I guess. Anyways, today is the day. It's finally happening. It's Mr. Ono. Thank frick. Yeah, I know you haven't been really waiting for me, you piece of shit. Oh. Wow. Uh, huh? Even your couch? <laughs> uh, I haven't reconsidered shit. <laughs> but what? Yes, it will become an heirloom, Mr. Ono. Don't you worry. Now we've obtained, uh, Kanesugu's help.
I still got a few? Okay, yeah, you can you can leave one with me, you know. Second time. Oh yeah, Bebe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man, Sengoku Generals. Woo! Makes my heart sing, Mr. Ono. So, whatever, we got that. So now the important part, before we go do what it is we're doing today, we are going to go to Elizabeth and she better be fucking happy. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Hello, Elizabeth. I didn't want to come in here again so soon. Yes, the ancient Sengoku era helm. Oh. Uh, sure. Yeah, wh whatever you want it to mean, it can mean, Elizabeth. I won't try to correct you. What did I get? Oh, just five bead chains? I mean, sure. Yeah, I'll take it. I don't, uh, no, I think the only person I have to register is one that I picked up from a shuffle time on accident, and, uh, I, I, the one I have is better, and I just haven't got rid of it yet. Did I mention I'm level 71? Jesus Christ. What a mistake that was. What are we doing? Oh yeah, we're gonna go to, uh, Art Club today. I should still have a fortune. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've changed any personas. I should before the next full moon. I mean, I'm going to anyways, because October 30th is going to be the the day to get Odin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, art club time. Oh man, I have one of the better paintings today. That's very sad. Uh, what's up, dude? I mean, holy shit, it's not the was. Oh, well, looks like we're talking with Kaisuke after this. Gee, I wonder what this will be pertaining. Oh, there we go. Yeah, track teams just kind of run below. I'm done with those idiots. Suckers! Yeah, everyone is, man. <laughs> so are you. Buster. Bustery do. I am. Well, what, what do you say? Huh. Yeah, that is kind of a strange 180, but I mean, you know, maybe it's the uh, study abroad thing. Hmm. Yeah, that is quite a predicament. I don't do whatever you want, man. True, but I mean, if you become a doctor, it's because your dad wants to, too, so you're just kind of screwed no matter which way it goes, huh? Kaisuke. I almost call him Snap Laws again. Did you hear that? There was a little S before I said Kaisuke. Well, you should get more friends, guys. Okay, just throwing that out there. <laughs> uh, anyways, that is rank six with Kaisuke. Uh, see, so do we have anything going on? Man, I don't have like anything really going on for the next couple of days here. So, now after whoever talks to me when I get home, it's gonna be uh, time to leave, I guess. And by leave, I mean go the next day. Oh shit! Well, thanks, man. Yeah, I'll, sure, I'll. I'll I'll get a ride back to the dorm. I'm not walking no more, no taking no taking no trains. Agreed. Man, who's making the scary music play? Uh, hello, Fuka Bazooka. How are you doing today? I guess we'll find out. Good morning. Yeah, it's uh not been too long. Yeah. I don't know, do we go with uh, the cheesy, like, I'm glad I met you, Fuka, or just to say, same here, you know what, uh, we'll just say same here. I'm sure she says the same thing either way. This is before they had technology to make differing responses for things. Lunchtime, huh? I wonder who's gonna come up to you today. Come up to me today, oh, you go maybe? Nah, that's just what we're thinking, it's Hitatoshi. Hey man, uh, come back to me in two days, will you? Now that I think about it, I don't think Yuko's ever come up to us during one of these. Maybe she has. Yeah, I'm kind of busy today, Yukari, alright? Um, you know, whatever. 
Oh, hey, there's you, go. Hey, does anyone have a good idea of how I can, like, uh, make my back not hurt? She's blushing and she's talking to me. Uh, yeah, what, what are you saying, Yuko? That's pretty strange. That's not the strangest thing we'll be hearing today. Jesus Christ, how many people are going to, like, is Nozomi going to walk up next and be like, Makara, come make three with me. I'm a piece of shit. I mean, at this point, I don't know, is Kenji going to come up here? Fuka, just come on, bring, get, get the whole train going, class. Let's just keep asking me questions. Rule number one, no questions. Uh, wow, so I don't have to go to the faculty office today. We can just go do whatever. It's it's pretty freeing, to be honest. And there's Yuko, just hanging out. Uh, still have Narasimha, yeah? Okay, we're still good, so let's spend some time with Yuko. Oh, we're going... Wow, it's not even rank 10, we're going to her room. Let's go. Nice room. Although, I don't know, from this angle, that table seems way too close to the, uh, the rack with that stereo over there. Nice stereo, though. Nice soccer players. Yes, we're celebrating our coaching success, in case you forgot where we were at in this one. Yep, those kids sure did, uh, make friends. Uh, how about me? Uh... It's, it's fine, you were waiting for me to respond, but I didn't. Oh, um, okay. Alright, question for me. Do I like kids? Not really. Oh, those kids are like me? Well, that's... <laughs> that's not my problem. I think people are drawn to you? Uh, hey, you know, maybe you're onto something here. Uh, sure. What question could you possibly want to ask me? Let's say you get married and have a kid. Would you want it to be a boy or a girl? Yuko, I, I have my finger over on a button here, okay? Uh, pick your next words carefully when I say a boy. Alright, seems happy, okay. Uh, maybe. I don't want the baby to take out to me since I'm a little rough around the edges. I want the baby to look like you because- Stop it. Yeah, um, so Yuko's maybe just a, a teeny, tiny, little bit baby crazy, and we're not even at rank 10. I think Yuko falling for us is an understatement. She, she's thinking kids right now. I told Kenji I have 30-year goals. Having kids with Yuko ain't one of those goals. Not on the short or the long list. Okay? It's about time I use that for a girl in one of these games. I mean, Teddy was a handful. Uh... Uh, Junpei during the beach was one, but... Come on now. Oh, did, did I ever use it for Risei? Maybe I did. I, I, I believe you. I believe you, alright? Oh, none of the babies can tell I'm a piece of shit. I used to be a piece of shit. Better now. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just... Let's just call the whole thing off. I'm going to initiate the link reversal here, you go. Watch your tone. <laughs> Sup, dude? How's it already been almost 20 minutes? I, uh, I'm kind of pissed about that, to be honest. Yeah, we do need to save this town, Junpei. You are correct. I, I like it. We need to save this town. I'll think about her. Leave it up to me. Why not, why not just be like, yeah, man. Let's do it. Oh, no. So weird. Good morning. It is the 22nd, and Mrs. Teriuchi's here to tell us something. Tofu. You know what tofu is, right, kids? I sure do. Uh, but what are we getting in here, Mrs. Teriuchi? Okay, yes. I'm rising to the occasion. Natto comes from soybeans, too, but how is it made? By fermenting them. You ever just ferment something? Wow, yeah. Cool. Thanks for the charm I didn't need, idiot. Oh man, I love it. We're, we're just kind of going and going and going and going. I'm really happy about that. 
Uh, note to myself right now that I'll forget in five minutes after this next scene. Save when you get home because you need to still wait for Novak Stan to send you the Mr. Edogawa clips for the next day. Now that we've done that, why did I... Isn't Kaisuke just right up here? I, I, I've been playing portable. I'm still trying to, like, get to where I need to to showcase stuff I want to showcase at the end of this. And, like, they changed positions. Of, they changed the positions of some people, and Kaisuke just hangs out on the, the right outside our club. But we're going to go to our club today with Kaisuke, also known as Holy Shit, it's Scott the Waz. Fortune 7, the bam Man, I, I just I hate being here. I want to be in front of the funny face. Need to talk to me again? Boy, Kaisuke, you sure are needy. I like how I just sound so sick. Like, hey, man, let's talk to Sink. We last time, okay? We just go to the far corner of that room by the easels there and talk, and no one's in a bad night. Alright, I have too many secrets I'm taking to the grave. I don't mind adding one more to the pile. Oh. Yeah, that's what it kind of sounds like to a degree. <laughs> Damn. Well, isn't that a bitch? Oh. So what? Is he gonna be a doctor? Oh, well that put a smile on the boy's face. I mean, I don't know, you, you could just be a, an artist and a doctor as well. You could... <laughs> well, no. There, there was a case not too long ago where a doctor did write his initials in someone's, like, liver or pancreas or uh, some organ he did surgery on. So yeah, maybe don't do that, guys. Okay. Uh, studying abroad sounds like a pain in the ass, to be completely honest. Hey man, I'm the next best thing since a uh, brick wall, so. I mean, I, you can almost kind of like argue that like you can talk to a wall and like the reflections that bounce off when you speak. Uh, sometimes they could they could tell you the answers that I'm telling you. So like maybe you you could just try talking to a wall in an empty room. It might be just as good. Yeah, that's tough, man. Sure, man. Uh, you know, don't do that. Uh, I don't know if you knew this, Kaisuke, but your, your arcana is the fortune. You have terrible luck. Absolute terrible luck, so I wouldn't waste your time on that. Anyways, we're home for the night. Right on, right on, Koro. Uh, yes, I'm now saving because I remember. Now, the reason why I didn't just shove you to the next day is because we have something that we have to do tonight. And by do, I mean we just have to wait for a phone call. One of the few times we actually want those. Yes, it's Yuko. So let us talk to Yuko and accept her invitation. Now, the reason for this is because we only got seven points during that last uh, hangout on Wednesday there. And uh, the points in the next round is 40. So we're, we're missing quite a lot. Bebe, don't waste my minutes. <laughs> you just love being an understanding friend to everyone. Bebe, you're going through some shit. I'm sorry. Well, I don't have that many minutes left on my phone. You'll just have to tell me later. Now on to the 23rd. Love the 23rd. Uh, which is funny because, uh, see you after school. Let's begin, class. Ahi Adni Tetragrammaton. We've covered the times of magical growth, and now we've just about reached the modern age. Every art or science branches off into sub-studies as it progresses. Magic, too, was subdivided around the 18th century. Some people preached about morals, some focused on communicating with spirits, and so on. There was even a man who founded modern psychology through his research on hypnosis. This, too, is magic. The ability to see into the human mind. As a result of the flourishing magical research, witch hunts became more common. To avoid this, magic began to progress in secret societies. I'm sure many of you have heard the names of these organizations. The Rosicrucian Order, 
the Freemasons, the Illuminati, the Golden Dawn. I like the Mythic Dawn a bit more myself. Many of these societies are still with us today. The forefathers of modern magic are too numerous to count. For instance, there's Eliphaz Levi, the man who attempted to combine modern and ancient systems of magic. His literature, which took a scientific approach, is still published today. Madame Blavatsky was the biggest magician of the 19th century and a renowned theosophist. Many magical societies have stemmed from the theosophical society that she founded. Mesmer opened the path to psychology in his studies on life energy. Rudolf Steiner helped spread the knowledge of anthroposophy. There was Aleister Crowley, of course, the 20th century's grand magician. <laughs> Is that the one that Ozzy's saying about? And Ger <laughs> Name of Jeff. And Gurdjieff, a mystic who taught his many students the fourth way. All of them had incredible stores of knowledge. Are you all listening? You're not frozen with fear, I trust. <laughs> I'm uh, nullifying fear, so I'm good. I'll test you to see how well you've been paying attention. Get it wrong, and your zodiac sign will change. Aha, Adonai, Tetragrammaton. Who to choose? Ah, Makoto, I ask thee. Of course. Who is the founder of Theosophy, which gave rise to many magical societies? Uh, Mel, the cook on Alice? No, it was Madame Blavatsky. Very good. Remember to be purified on your unlucky years. Now then, the magical arts progressed even further with practical use. With the knowledge spread by the people we've discussed today... Ah, oh, well hey, correct answer given? That's good. Let's flip the timelines again, shall we? At least in this timeline. Uh, like I said, still gotta wait for the voice line, so I gotta go back and record it. Which is why I saved yesterday. Doing real good at remembering shit. Anyways, today we are one step closer to getting Odin, because we're going to student council. I still have Barong or whatever, right? Yes. Bad wrong, but wrong. Let's attend student council. All right. Well, let's let's see what happens today. Oh, that's it, huh? Nice. Oh no, not again! Everyone wants to talk to me after something. Ah, oh, yes, of course, we haven't been to the rooftop with Hidetoshi yet, so may as well. Uh, what's up, man? Oh. I mean, to a degree, it's, it's not wrong. Oh, is that so? Well, I imagine that one. Yes. Oh, hey, don't blame yourself. Oh, I'd love to say, good thing you noticed. I keep coughing. I don't know why. It's terrible. I wish I could stop, but I can't. So, just listen to Hidetoshi's words, and if I stop talking for more than a few things, it's because I'm coughing. Smile. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what just happened to you. Yeah, I'm really glad to have intervened and just watched you get socked in the face. That was fun. That was great. I loved watching him get socked in the face. Like, okay, so upon replaying this social link, I don't hate this one. I know I've said a lot of shit about it. Uh, I just wish it wasn't as boring, I guess. I don't know. Like, I, I just said it yesterday, but I have a last team to take the grave. What's another one? Yep, see you, man. I'll see you one more time, and that is it. Because once you give me Odin, my time at Pseudo Console is done. Pseudo Console. Oh, hey! Yeah, that they are, huh? Well, if you look at your calendar, it tells you in funny text when a full moon's happening. You know, it's funny I mention that because since I've played this, uh, I'm now legally obligated to take a Snapchat of myself every time there's a full moon with my mouth agape and me pointing at the full moon. 
and then typing in the text box Persona 3 fans and there's a full moon. Anyways, I guess I'm just going to leave it there just because I have to put in the Edogawa stuff, which will surely add on like three minutes. So cool. Next time, we're just inching ever closer to the next full moon.